Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Rebirth, Octopus at the Beginning, Becoming the God of Cthulhu. Chapter 71 At this moment, Lilith clasped her hands together, and a red energy condensed from her hands. In just three seconds, the red energy in her hand formed a red ball. She threw the ball into the sky, then looked across with an evil smile. The three archangels seemed to sense that something bad was about to happen, so they all rushed towards Lilith, raised their swords and struck down. Dang dang dang. The attacks of the flaming sword were blocked by the barrier, and their strength would not be able to break through Lilith's barrier in a short period of time. Lilith said disdainfully, Stop struggling pointlessly and die in peace. The leading archangel glared at Lilith and said, Dirty devil, you will be judged by justice sooner or later. Lilith smiled teasingly, not taking his words seriously at all. At this moment, the red energy ball Lilith threw into the sky suddenly shot out countless red lasers and started killing them. The beast emperor and the angels began to avoid and block these red lasers. But the attack power of this laser is really terrifying. Those angels who blocked it with swords were instantly penetrated, and their long swords were completely ineffective. Because the bodies of more than a dozen beast emperors are too large, it is impossible to completely avoid them. Their huge bodies were struck by countless red lasers. Although they would not die immediately, they could be seriously injured. Especially those flying beast emperors and angels were the first to face the laser attack. Lilith watched the enemies on the scene fleeing in all directions, and she felt even happier inside. Run, yes, run as hard as you can. This red ball will continue to attack for an hour. You have to run faster, ha ha ha. Lilith laughed unscrupulously. At this time, the red ball in the sky emits more and more lasers, and the lasers not only have the ability to shoot but also have the ability to sweep. This move can be said to be a magical skill for clearing away monsters. But it is not that useful against masters of the same level. Giant beasts and angels fell from the sky one after another, and the evolved beasts running on the ground also showed signs of despair. All the evolved beasts and angels trapped in the barrier can only wait to be shot by lasers. At this time, Lilith was like a spectator silently watching them fall into despair, and she had no intention of taking any more strikes. At this moment, a white light shot from outside the barrier and hit the barrier with a bang. Click. The barrier cracked directly where it was shot. Before Lilith could react, several more white lights came. Bang bang bang. The barrier couldn't withstand the white light's attack, and it all shattered with a bang. At this time, Lilith saw clearly who was attacking her. It was Rachel, the six-winged archangel in the distance. Rachel drew her bow several more times, and several white lights instantly exploded the red light ball in the sky. The beast emperors and angels below saw the ball of light exploded, and then they breathed a sigh of relief. It seems that someone has come to save them. Lilith, long time no see. I didn't expect we would meet here. Rachel said. HMPH, I said who dared to ruin my good deeds, and it turned out to be you. Since you are seeking death, don't blame me for being ruthless. After Lilith said this, she teleported to Rachel. The two of them are old rivals, and Lilith knows that this guy's long-range output ability is extremely powerful. You must close the distance and engage him in close combat as soon as possible. Otherwise it would be dangerous if he flew the kite. Faced with a battle at the same level, Lilith finally showed her true skills. When she came to Rachel, she formed huge red claws in her hands and grabbed him with a swipe. Seeing that Rachel's body was cut into three parts, Lilith not only was not happy but also turned ugly. Because Rachel, who was scratched to pieces by him, was just an afterimage. Where to run? Lilith chased after him again. At this time, more than a dozen white arrows were fired at rapidly. She dodged most of them, but she was still hit by two arrows, which destroyed her shield. The two level 7 bosses were chasing each other in the sky, and the final victory of this battle depended on them. Despite her small size, Lilith is only 4 meters tall. But her body is really strong, and the so-called concentration is the essence. Those arrows that could shatter the barrier could only leave some small blood holes in her body, but Lilith became more and more anxious as she struck. She will lose sooner or later if she keeps spending like this. Then her eyes turn red and red energy emerges from her hands. It quickly condensed into scarlet swords. She pointed at Rachel and said, Go! Boohoo! More than a dozen scarlet swords flew towards Rachel quickly. 
Rachel calmly responded by drawing a bow and shooting more than a dozen arrows towards the sword. Boom boom boom. There was a violent collision, and then the scarlet sword shattered all the arrows and continued flying towards Rachel. Rachel put her left hand on her chest and muttered some incomprehensible spells, and then a white light shield appeared in front of him. Boom boom boom. The scarlet swords all hit the light shield, and the light shield dissipated in less than two seconds. However, there were still two scarlet swords that had not disappeared and were inserted directly into Rachel's body. Poof. Rachel spat out a mouthful of golden blood. Although they are both 7th level saint level powerhouses, Lilith belongs to the top category. And Rachel only belongs to the intermediate category, so she will lose to her opponent in a duel. Lilith smiled evilly, teleported behind Rachel, and then grabbed his neck with her claws. Die, Lilith said excitedly. Dang, a golden spear blocked her attack. Lilith looked closely and saw that it was another archangel, Mega. This archangel is the most powerful of the angels. Lilith teleported away from the opponent, and then looked at Mega, who was wearing golden armor and holding a golden spear. Lilith didn't dare to be careless about this guy, because she had suffered several losses at the hands of the opponent before. So he mocked, what? Archangels are also popular in two-on-one now. Haha, -ha, there is no need to talk about benevolence and morality when dealing with demons. As long as I can kill you and others, that's the best thing. Nika said while supporting Rachel. But now that Rachel was injured, he had to take action to stop Lilith. Lilith saw two archangels appearing in the distance and knew that she might not be able to kill all these enemies today. But she didn't want to just retreat into the sea, so she said, Nika, you don't have to fight with me to the end. I think you know the situation in this world, so I hope that the southwest of this land will be owned by the demon clan. As for the other positions will be given to you. The land she was talking about was the lighthouse country, and it wouldn't be that big if it was just the southwest region. Expand the area of the lighthouse country by eight times, you can experience it for yourself. Megara and Rachel looked at each other, and the holy god's order to them was to come to this world to seize more resources. As for other targets, they have to be moved to the back. The two great angels communicated with each other with their thoughts, and then nodded and agreed to Lilith's plan. Indeed, this world is not their world. There is no need for the angels to fight to the death for the giant beasts and the demons. Our goal is to plunder more resources in a limited time. Where can I find the time to come here to fight? Remember what you said, if you dare to violate my judgment, the spear of judgment will pierce your heart. Michael threatened. Lilith saw that the other party agreed, and she didn't care about Michael's harsh words. As long as I advance to the 8th level of true god level in the next time, I won't be able to control you easily. Of course I, Lilith, keep my word, so please come back with your people. HMPH, let's go. The two archangels led all the angels away from the battlefield, and the evolved beasts were a little embarrassed at this time. If they lose the help of the angel clan, they will definitely lose. I just saw two archangels coming to support me, I thought the battle was secure. Unexpectedly, the battlefield was changing rapidly, and in just a short time, it turned into a losing situation. At this time, the Rat Emperor said to Lilith, Lord Lilith, we have no intention of going against you. I hope you can let us go. Lilith smiled evilly, let you go. What a pity, I am not a let go. As soon as these words came out, several beast emperors immediately began to flee. The herd of beasts saw their boss running away, so they also ran away. The demons chased after them and kept killing the beasts. Lilith knew that she could not stop all the beasts at this time, so she immediately took action to kill the beast emperors. The scene changed to the East China Sea. After more than two days, Lu Feng finally finished refining the energy crystals harvested in the previous batch. Now his energy points have accumulated to 560 million. Looking at the skyrocketing energy points, he felt so happy. The next level of evolution requires 1 billion energy points, plus the 300 million for growth and evolution, he must accumulate at least 1.3 billion energy points. Thinking of this, his heart is no longer beautiful. Alas, this trap is really worse than Tongzi, Lu Feng said helplessly. Then he sent a message to the giant turtle king with his mind and asked about the situation in the past two days. Since the demon clan left, 
no demon clan has appeared in this space channel again, and the situation in the sea area is relatively stable. When the giant turtle king reported the situation, he cursed the giant ape tribe a few more times, saying that this tribe was mentally ill and would kill anyone they saw, and they couldn't communicate at all. After listening to its report, Lu Feng discovered something was wrong. He knew about this giant ape tribe. He had once used his clone to seduce the other party. But at that time, the other party was not fooled, and a turtle huddled in the tribe and did not come out. But now the behavior of this tribe is somewhat abnormal, which makes him feel that there must be something fishy in it. After thinking for a moment, he led the giant turtle king directly towards the giant ape tribe. More than an hour later, they arrived at the area of the giant ape tribe. Not to mention the slow pace, the main reason is that the turtle is too slow. Great Emperor, this is their tribe. The giant turtle emperor pointed down and said. Lu Feng carefully sensed the area and found that there was nothing special. The only difference is that there is a space passage next to this tribe. Since there is a space channel, there will be alien creatures. But except for some bloodthirsty giant apes, he did not find any alien creatures in his induction. Is this a little strange? Moreover, there are many corpses of evolved beasts in this area, including a large number of ape corpses. The internal organs and brains of these corpses were eaten away, which is not like what ordinary evolved beasts do. Today's evolved beasts have very high IQs, and even when eating, they will selectively eat some parts. Who would throw corpses everywhere and eat only the internal organs instead of flesh and blood? Did you meet the giant ape king last time you came here? Lu Feng asked. The giant turtle king nodded and said, I met him, but that guy attacked me like crazy. Most of the injuries on my body were caused by it. See if that corpse belongs to the great ape emperor. Lu Feng pointed to a location in the area below. The giant turtle king took a closer look and found that it was the giant ape king. Great emperor, this corpse is the great ape emperor, this. The giant turtle emperor was greatly surprised. Although the emperor level evolved beasts at this stage are not the most powerful, they are still among the top ones. It is not easy to kill this level 5 beast king. Just when they were wondering, a 600 meter tall giant ape climbed out of the ground. The terrifying pressure made all the nearby evolved beasts so scared that they dared not move. Then they saw this giant ape grabbing some third and fourth level evolved beasts and putting them into his mouth. The giant ape just started chewing, and a lot of blood flowed from its mouth. Seeing this scene, Lu Feng was also surprised. I seem to remember that apes are vegetarians, right? Lu Feng asked doubtfully. Ahem, emperor, apes are omnivores, and they sometimes eat meat. But this giant ape is indeed a bit weird. The giant turtle emperor explained. Lu Feng felt a little ashamed. He didn't even know such basic knowledge. Let's take a look at the attributes of the giant ape first and then talk about the detection technique. Name, Qingtian giant ape, weird demon. Type, giant ape and different dimension demon, level 7. Gender, female unknown. Status, seizing and occupying. Weight, 1600 tons. Power, 8000 tons. Speed, 5000 meters per second. Defense, 2000 tons. Spirit, 15,000, increase in body seizure. Skill, unknown, talent, unknown, dot 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 exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark. This attribute shocked Lu Feng. I originally thought that I was the only one who had evolved to the seventh level, but this giant ape with hanging hair has also reached the seventh level. And he was even snatched away by a strange demon. Then he released the detection technique on other ape evolved beasts, and as expected, they were all killed by the demon. It's just that the levels of the demons who seize their bodies are different. Damn it, let's retreat, Lu Feng said immediately. Before the giant turtle emperor could react, he dragged the turtle and left here quickly. Just after he evacuated, the giant ape turned its head and smiled strangely in the direction they evacuated. That big, funny, bloody mouth is still bleeding with blood and saliva. The strange behavior of this seventh-level giant ape was also sensed by Lu Feng. It seemed that this guy had discovered them a long time ago. As for whether they discovered the giant turtle king or Lu Feng, it's hard to say. After evacuating, Lu Feng returned to the East China Sea with the giant turtle emperor. At this time, the giant turtle emperor looked at Lu Feng with a puzzled expression. 
Great Emperor, why should we escape? What do you mean by escaping? This is called a tactical retreat. Lu Feng said dissatisfied. Then he sent the giant turtle king away and began to think about how to deal with the first seven levels of demons. The giant turtle king entered seclusion after leaving him, and this guy also had the opportunity to advance to the sixth level. After sensing the changes in the giant turtle king, Lu Feng said in his heart, this turtle has great potential. If this guy hadn't been unlucky enough to be seriously injured several times, he might have been one of the first creatures in Blue Star to reach level 6. Then he brought his thoughts back to how to deal with the demon. The demon itself is level 7, and the giant ape whose body was taken away by it has also reached the terrifying level 7. It will be very difficult to deal with the opponent in such a situation. There is a qualitative difference between level 7 and level 6. Even if he sends 71 clones to attack the opponent in a group, he may not be able to kill it. If his true form went to fight together, he would indeed have a greater chance of killing the opponent, but it would be embarrassing if he never fought. Moreover, the giant ape tribe was too close to the space passage. Once the devil discovered that something was wrong and returned to his own world, it would be impossible to kill him. After much thought, Lu Feng couldn't think of a solution. At this moment, there was a sudden wave of fluctuations in the northern space channel away from his territory. Hundreds of dragon people walked out of this space passage. The leader was a middle-aged dragon man. He was dressed in black scale armor and had two long black horns on his forehead. Light sensed from his aura that this guy must be a level 7 existence. Behind this person stood five sixth order emperor level dragon men, including the former, red warm warrior, Atuo. Yachuo immediately pretended to cry to the middle-aged dragon man and said, Ooh! Third uncle, you must avenge your nephew this time. Don't worry, my nephew dares to bully me until I beat him up. The middle-aged dragon man consoled him. Wu, third uncle is the best. Lu Feng, who was sensing them at the bottom of the sea, showed an awkward smile. Good guy, it's really like beating the young to the old. Moreover, this old man also has level 7 strength, so it will be difficult to deal with it now. His current goal is to collect a large amount of energy crystals to prepare for the 8th level of evolution. Seeing that there are still more than 700 million energy points left, he feels helpless. If you just rely on your own energy absorption to accumulate, it will probably take more than half a year to accumulate enough. Just when he was troubled, the group of dragon people had already arrived in the dragon kingdom. The direction of their action is exactly in the central area of Dragon Kingdom, where the giant ape tribe is located. After a while, they came to the sky above the giant ape tribe, and these giant apes possessed by the body immediately attacked them. The middle-aged dragon man showed doubts. He was exuding 7th level holy pressure all the way. Any normal creature would stay away. No one would dare to attack them. Seeing the giant ape's desperate attack, the middle-aged dragon man immediately ordered, kill all these beasts. The hundreds of dragon people behind him immediately responded. The lowest level of these dragon people are all level 4, and there are a large number of level 5 dragon people among them. The battle between the two sides started instantly. The advantage of the dragon tribe was the high combat power of its personnel, while the advantage of the giant ape tribe was its large number. The cry of killing on the battlefield soon spread throughout the entire giant ape tribe, and hundreds of millions of giant apes rushed from nearby. Their eyes are all blood red, and the bodies of some giant apes are extremely dry, as if they have been sucked dry by something. Lu Feng then quietly came over here with his clone. Kill, kill, the more you kill, the better. Lu Feng said in his heart. As long as they kill each other, they can pick up the slack. As the two sides continued to fight, the middle-aged dragon man also joined the battlefield. His killing of these giant apes was as simple as squeezing ants to death, and he cleared a battlefield area in less than a minute. However, many level 4 dragonmen were surrounded and killed by a large number of giant apes. The fighting continued and the killings continued, and there was endless blood and corpses on the ground. Just when the giant apes were at a disadvantage, a giant claw dozens of meters long protruded from the soil and grabbed directly at the middle-aged dragon man. The middle-aged dragon man punched forward without showing any signs of weakness. Bang! The giant claw was blasted away, and the middle-aged dragon man also retreated hundreds of meters. Who? Someone has the guts, the middle-aged dragon man said angrily. 
Then the earth rumbled and shook, and a towering giant ape crawled out of the soil. The middle-aged dragon man looked shocked. This giant ape gave him a very dangerous feeling. Even the masters of the same level in the clan did not have such a sense of danger. At this time, he looked at the giant ape solemnly. He he he, the super giant ape smiled at him with a strange face. The middle-aged dragon man took the other person's smile as a mockery of him, which made him instantly furious, shameless beast, you are looking for death. He punched the super giant ape again, and the giant ape clenched his fists and smashed it over. There was another loud noise, and the super giant ape and the middle-aged dragon man were knocked away one after another. The super giant ape smiled weirdly at him again. The terrifying big mouth and the teeth in the mouth made people shudder. The middle-aged dragon man didn't know what the other party meant. Logically speaking, an evolved beast of this level should have a very high IQ. Why was this super giant ape so incomprehensible? At this moment, the super giant ape suddenly ran toward him crazily with red eyes. The giant ape changed its shape and smiled at him while running wildly. MD, what the hell is wrong with your brain? The middle-aged dragon man said angrily. Then he roared and his body transformed from human form into a giant black dragon. The size of this black dragon exceeds 1,000 meters, which is a quarter larger than the giant ape. The terrifying coercion spread from him, causing creatures thousands of kilometers around to tremble. Ho, oh, come on, one dragon and one ape struggled together again. Both sides no longer made tentative attacks. At this time, their attacks were all aimed at the vital points. It can be said that every move is fatal. Lu Feng, hiding in the sky, watched the fierce battle between the two giant beasts as if watching a movie. Yes, yes, left hook and right hook. Attack him, Lu Feng said excitedly in his heart. After a period of fighting, one of the giant ape's arms was torn off, and one of the black dragon's wings and one of its horns were broken off. The fighting between the two sides was very brutal. At this time, the black dragon suddenly opened its mouth and sprayed a stream of dragon breath towards the giant ape. Seeing that the giant ape could not avoid it, it used the boulder next to it as a shield. Bang! The boulder shattered, and the dragon's breath sprayed directly on the giant ape's chest. At this time, the giant ape's chest had been burned through by the dragon's breath, and the dense white bones and internal organs inside could be clearly seen. Black Dragon showed a satisfied expression when he saw that the opponent was seriously injured. This greatly increased his winning rate in this battle. At this moment, the super giant ape roared loudly, and its body began to twist and deform. The hair all over his body fell off one after another, and he quickly transformed from a yellow-haired giant ape into a terrifying monster with red flesh skin, long and pointed ears, and a ferocious face. And its injured chest and broken arm were healed. This made Black Dragon slightly shocked. He didn't expect this guy to have such ability. But its twisting and deformation wasn't over yet, and it immediately grew a pair of fleshy wings and two arms. And there were bony spikes growing on the joints of its limbs. At this time, the super giant ape turned into a complete monster, and there was no trace of ape. When the Black Dragon saw that the opponent had recovered from his injuries and turned into such a ghost, he immediately said angrily, Joe. What the hell are you? But the other party was still laughing at his weird hee hee hee. The other party's behavior completely angered the black dragon, and the black dragon just sprayed out a few rounds of dragon breath. The terrifying creature did not dare to catch the dragon's breath, and instantly flew into the sky. The black dragon followed closely and kept spraying dragon breath, and then the terrifying creature turned back and narrowed the distance between the two. The terrifying creature grabbed the black dragon's back with a swipe, then opened its bloody mouth and bit it. PFF. A piece of flesh and blood on the black dragon's back was instantly bitten off, and his dragon scales could not stop the opponent's bite at all. The painful black dragon roared and hit the ground, then rolled and fought with the opponent. Both sides bit each other's bodies, and soon they were separated again. Both sides were already scarred at this time, but black dragon's injuries were more serious. He he he. The scary creature still laughed strangely at the black dragon. But the black dragon was too injured and had no strength to talk nonsense. He thought he would win this time, but he didn't expect that the opponent actually had the means to transform. How careless. On the other side of the battlefield, most of the dragon people had died in the battle, and even three of the five sixth-order emperor dragons had died. 
It was rare that a Tuo was not dead, but he was also seriously injured. Seeing that there was no hope of survival, the Black Dragon teleported to Yachuo and cast a dragon language magic on Yachuo. Before the terrifying creature could react, Yachuo was sent away by a teleportation formation. When the Black Dragon saw his eldest nephew being sent away, he took a long breath and looked at the terrifying creature as if he were dead. Hey hey hey, you're so stupid if you don't run to save his people. The terrifying creature finally spoke. It's none of your business. If you want to kill me, you have to pay the price. Black Dragon said. Hey hey hey, who said I wanted to kill you? This body of yours is best used to take over your body. The Black Dragon's pupils shrank, and he felt that something was wrong. How could a giant ape become like this? Now he finally understood what the problem was. This guy was not a giant ape at all, but a mutated giant ape whose body had been taken away. Damn, are you a weird demon? Black Dragon said. In his memory, there are inherited memories of strange demons. This clan is the public enemy of all clans in the world. They never do anything for human beings, and specialize in seizing the bodies of potential offspring from other races, and then using them as their own bodies. As the physical body continues to grow stronger, they continue to drain the physical body's energy for their own improvement. When the physical body loses its potential and energy, they will take over other physical bodies for cultivation. He he he, I guessed it right, but it's too late. A flash of red light suddenly shot out from the eyes of the terrifying creature and instantly penetrated into the black dragon's mind. Ho, the black dragon screamed, his head was hit by the red light, and his spirit felt like a heavy blow. At this time, his consciousness was constantly attacked by red light, while the terrifying creature stood not far away and smiled strangely. Scream, scream, you will lose consciousness after a while. At this moment, Black Dragon not only had to endure physical pain, but also endured mental torture. This made him lie down on the ground before he could hold on for long. The Black Dragon was now on the verge of death. The consciousness in his mind began to slowly dissipate. He opened his eyes and looked at the world, and finally lowered his eyelids feebly. Quack, it's another level 7 body, and it's still a dragon. The terrifying creature shouted happily. At this time, the terrifying creature made a strange cry, and a white ghost jumped out of the soil with a swishing sound. Then he flew quickly towards the black dragon's body. Just when the white ghost was about to arrive, a purple ray fell from the sky and hit the unknown ghost with a bang. Chi chi chi. There was a piercing scream, and the white ghost silhouette collapsed on the spot. Then the purple ray swept towards the terrifying creature, and the terrifying creature was hit on the spot before it could react. There was another sharp cry, and the terrifying creature fell to the ground. However, the body of the terrifying creature was not harmed at all. This was because the demon in its body was defeated. Then fifty giant purple octopuses appeared in the sky and began to kill those low-level giant apes. After experiencing the Great War, the giant apes no longer had much fighting power. Now they were suddenly attacked by so many level 6 octopuses and had no chance to resist. More than an hour later, all the giant apes here were wiped out. At this moment, another thick purple ray shot down from the sky, and this ray hit the ground where the white ghost just flew out. In an instant, there were endless screams. Lu Feng, who was hiding in the sky, smiled disdainfully and said, Young man, you are still acting like a fool. You will all die. Then he shot all the ground in this area, and after finding that nothing was missing, he let the clone start collecting energy crystals from the corpses. HMPH, I said that I would kill all the demons, but you are just hitting the target. Lu Feng said in a sullen tone. He watched for a long time in the sky, waiting for the right time to take action. These weird demons must use spiritual attacks to achieve the best results. Normal physical damage is difficult to cause a fatal blow to them. Looking at the corpses here, he finally showed a satisfied smile. Then he controlled the clone and began to harvest the energy crystals in the terrifying creatures and black dragons. It is possible to produce a 7th level energy crystal. He has not used crystals of this level yet. As the clone harvested, two irregular energy crystals soon appeared in his hands. Detection Technique Item Name Level 7 Energy Crystal Item Type High Energy Crystal Item Function Direct Absorption will gain 5 million energy points 
This item can also be embedded in equipment to increase combat power. Blank. One piece is worth 5 million energy points. Awesome. After two hours of collection, he once again obtained a large amount of energy crystals. Among them, there are 3,205 level 2 energy crystals, 12,520 level 3 energy crystals, 2,235 level 4 energy crystals, 388 level 5 energy crystals, 7 level 6 energy crystals, and 2 level 7 energy crystals. So many energy crystals can be refined again. Lu Feng, who had gained again, hummed a song and flew back to his own sea area. After returning to the bottom of the sea, he immediately started refining energy crystals. After more than two days of continuous refining, this batch of crystals was finally refined. In the end, he obtained a total of 308,775,000 energy points, plus the energy points accumulated previously and recently passively absorbed, he now has a total of 880 million. One step closer to his 1.3 billion goal. Dot 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 dot. At this time, the scene turned to the human underground base in the southwest of Dragon Kingdom. Captain Fang, who was guarding Zhang Xiaoya before, was holding a bottle of red potion and said doubtfully, Dr. Zhang, do I really want to drink this? Drink. This is my latest research and development of the top energy potion, which contains a large amount of easy to absorb high purity energy. Zhang Xiaoya explained. Captain Fang was reluctant to drink this sticky red liquid, but it could promote his evolution, so he gritted his teeth and drank it all. It tastes weird, but it's nothing. Captain Fang shook the empty bottle and said. Zhang Xiaoya just looked at him quietly without speaking. Just when Captain Fang felt nothing was wrong, his body suddenly felt hot. Soon the heat swept through his body, causing his skin to instantly turn red and veins to pop out all over his body. Dr. Zhang, lock me up quickly. Quick, Captain Fang said urgently. Zhang Xiaoya immediately exited the laboratory and locked the door. She stood outside and looked through the glass at the squadron roaring inside. At this time, the square team's eyes slowly turned blood red, and then they began to smash and kick randomly. Ten minutes passed like this, and the formation finally fell. Zhang Xiaoya, who was outside, was not sure about the other party's situation, so she still quietly observed the other party's changes. Captain Fang is an evolver who can reach the peak of level 4 and belongs to the strongest group of people in this base. If even he couldn't bear the side effects of this potion, no one could. Looking at the fallen team, Zhang Xiaoya muttered, it shouldn't be. I improved it according to the formula of the ruins, how could this happen? At this time, Fang Kei, who had fallen on the ground, slowly sat up again. His whole body was sweating and his eyes were clear again. Then he waved to Zhang Xiaoya, indicating that the other party could come in. Zhang Xiaoya walked into the laboratory and immediately stepped forward to look at Team Fang, how do you feel now? Fang Team shook his body and then slowly stood up and said, I feel like my body is filled with explosive power now, and I have awakened new powers. Oh, let's go to the testing hall and try it. Soon the two came to the testing hall. Captain Fang chose a strength tester and punched it. Bang! The number on the strength tester skyrocketed, quickly rising from 100 tons to 500 tons, and then from 500 tons to 1,000 tons. Seeing that the tonnage on the instrument was no longer increasing, Zhang Xiaoya looked at the formation in surprise. Team Fang rubbed his fists and said, Ha ha, this is 70% of my power. If I hit it with all my strength, I can probably reach 1,500 tons. Zhang Xiaoya was surprised again. She knew that the fourth level evolver could only have 500 tons of power at most, which was weaker than the evolved beasts of the same level. But at this time, the strength of the formation was already three times that of the fourth level evolvers. It seemed that they had successfully advanced to the fifth level emperor level. Then they tested their speed and ability to withstand hits. As expected, Every item has been improved exponentially, which makes other evolutionists who are testing look envious. Finally, Zhang Xiaoya took Team Fang to a secret laboratory and said, Team Fang, let's test your new abilities now. The team nodded, and then he raised his hand and waved a light flying blade towards the target. With a bang, the target was blown to pieces. A, hey, Team Fang, what kind of superpower do you have? Zhang Xiaoya asked in confusion. Dr. Zhang, I can now control a certain amount of light energy, and I am also extremely sensitive to light properties. 
Then the flying blades you condensed just now have light attributes. Yeah, but this will consume the body's energy. I can still condense about a thousand of the destructive light energy flying blades just now. Fang team explained his superpower in detail. Zhang Xiaoya opened her mouth slightly to express some surprise. This destructive power is much greater than that of rockets, and its penetration and speed are also very fast. It's now possible to use thermal weapons. Even the weapons unearthed from the ruins are inferior to his ability, and it can be released thousands of times. After obtaining detailed data, Zhang Xiaoya reported the matter to Chief Number One and received praise from the chief. Since then, there are also fifth-level emperors among humans. If they encounter ordinary beast emperors, they will have the ability to protect themselves. Soon the medicine was transported to several other human bases through this base. Level 5 evolvers were born in many small bases in the Dragon Kingdom during this period, but there were also people who couldn't bear the side effects of the potion and were left alive by the potion. Ever since humans had the fifth level emperor level warriors, they once again walked out of the base and began to explore the outside world. In particular, those ruins were explored in depth. At this time, the evolved beasts were no longer madly chasing humans. All their energy was spent on fighting against aliens, and they had no energy left to care about humans. Anyway, human beings are in decline now, so it's just like that if we don't care. But with the increase in the number of 5th level emperor level humans, the evolved beasts in the dragon kingdom are also aware of it. At this time, a level 6 silver white deer emperor found the human team. It told the humans that it had found a ruins location but could not enter it, so it wanted to cooperate with humans to jointly develop this ruins. After receiving the news, the human team immediately left two people behind, and the others returned to the base to notify the leader and others. After learning the news, Chief Number One immediately agreed to cooperate and rushed to the location of the Deer Emperor himself. After seeing the Deer Emperor, which was several hundred meters tall, Chief Number One's expression changed slightly. Although he is also an evolved person now, he is still a little shocked to face such a terrifying existence. Hello, Emperor Deer. I am the representative of humanity and am responsible for negotiating cooperation with you this time. Chief Number One said, neither humble nor overbearing. Although there are currently no level 6 experts in human beings, there are still many level 5 experts. At this time, there were 10 level 5 human experts standing next to chief number. 1. If the dear emperor did not show martial ethics and attack the leader, then the 10 of them would definitely fight with him. It's hard to say what the result will be. Although there is a gap between level 5 and level 6, it can still be made up by quantity. Moreover, the cooperation between the human team is more tacit than that of the evolved hands. At the same time, they are also wearing a full set of equipment from the ruins. If we really get into a fight, it won't be the same who loses and who wins. Haha, <laughs> humans are so interesting. They actually let 10 level 5 emperor masters protect one level 2 human. Since you can represent humanity, let me talk to you. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.